What is up guys, and we are gonna do a tutorial that I couldn't find a video of it for some odd reason. So in the last episode, I guess, it wasn't even an episode because it's not a series, right? Um, so basically, I wanted to learn how to freaking patch, um, now put custom music. Like, I, I was trying to figure that out, so I was fiddling with it and I was reading the forum and it was difficult to figure out. So... Um, I did a little bit of reading, did a little bit of trial and error and figured it out. So the the tutorial right now is going to basically be how to use Add Music K with the CMD. Maybe um, in a future reference I'll try seeing if you can do it with the GUI as well, but I have not used that one yet. I did it with the CMD. First things first, let's start out with downloading the tools we need. There are two tools we need right now. We need the Add Music K 1.08. Let's just quickly download that real quick. The links will be in the description. Do that. Let's open it. Um, and we'll just drag it to our desktops afterwards. So that's downloaded. Let's not touch it just yet. There, there's the Add Music K. Another one we're definitely going to need as well is basically the Lunar Magic 3.31, I guess. Um, it's this tool. So let's quickly download that. And there you go, links will be in the description, like I said. Um, I will not be teaching you how to download ROMs, I think you guys can figure that out. Um, so I, the ROM is already downloaded for me, so is the emulator. Um, I'm just teaching you how to use these two tools. First thing, let, let's um, make a quick folder real quick. I'll just call this tutorial, just so I know, to delete it afterwards. Um, we'll just quickly drag that there. Let's just drag everything that's necessary. There we are. And let's just drag that here. So there we are. So since we already got all this already set, um, we got both of our tools needed. Um, so what we have to do now is grab our ROM and drag it to the Lunar Magic thing. We'll do that real quick. Um, another thing you have to figure out. Well, I'll, I'll do I'll do it so you know how to keep it organized. So um, first, let's. I don't know if you have to do this, but it's better to be safe than sorry, I guess. Um, we'll do that. We'll quickly open our file. Okay, do that. Boom. Um, back then you needed to do this. I don't know if you have to do it now, but I'm just going to do it regardless just to make sure. We'll, we'll, we'll expand the ROM to 4 megabytes real quick. So do that. The way you do it is file, expand, expand for ROMs. I already did it. And then once you do that, um, ignore the folders that were made. I just did that for personal OCD reasons. Maybe I'll just fiddle with it later. There's that. So we already did that. So now let's go back to to Super Mario World Central and let's pick a song we wanna we wanna use. You know, I'll just do this as a joke. Anyways, this is a really really good one to use. I was just listening to it. The, the song because I'd, I'd I'd use this for a joke for the Yoshi House. Why not? It'll be funny. Um, there's that. Okay, so once once you got that, let's close off of this. Um, we got that. So now we got the song we, we're using. I'm using Song of Storms. Um, so the way you do it in the is basically now um, the add music needs to be in the same exact file folder as the as the ROM that you were trying to patch. So there's that. Once you do that, you go to add music K which will bring up the CMD. It says enter your ROM. I should have given it a custom name to save myself some, some time and effort. So give me a second while I slowly type this. Once you have um, done that, you see over here, if you see a folder in it, open it. See if it has a BRR file. There you go. Just exit off that, um, go to the samples folder and put it in here. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. Just skip this step entirely, right? Um, but let me quickly explain why. If it has a BRR file, it's using instruments from that file specifically to install into the ROM. The issue is if it doesn't have it, um, the file is trying to locate the, the BRRs and it doesn't have it. Um, if it doesn't, let's say example, if it doesn't have this, then then all you have to do is just do this step. Like if, you've already, if you didn't have any BRR files, don't worry about this step. It's just extra stuff if, if you don't have any issues. So now you go to the music file. Um, I think it's this one. Yeah, it's the music file. You go over here, drag the, the Song of Storms in here, and it would be whatever is the name of your file. Make sure it's the TXT file. Um, I like putting a number on it because personal OCD, but I'll quickly do that. 
and the reason I'm putting 41 is because it's over here is cast list blah you know details that's just something you don't have to do this this part I just do it for OCD's sake um, and then you open um, you open the add music list right here once you do that click over here to the last one click space 29 um, if you put a personal folder to keep it organized make sure to write the folders name and slash but since I pulled put it straight into the music file I don't have to worry about that so now you just go to your file over here and just copy the text or manually type it out if you're really good at memorizing and there you go make sure to click save do that and then you go to add music K and again <laughs> just quickly type your easy name not over complicated like mine's and there you go and make sure everything was a success if it all installed correctly um, you have nothing to worry about so now you basically open your 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 ROM hack so there we are go over here bypass music header and then you scroll down until you find your your song which I think it was in 29 was it yeah over here song of storms and you click OK so now so now we've we've changed this level song officially open your ROM to test out that it's working okay so now let's go to to this one and see if it's this, the song of storms there we are I'm very good at the game but um, if you noticed sorry I've not played in keyboard and no, I usually play with a controller so I'm kind of but see if you listen to it now it is picking it up so that that's how you install uh, custom music with the CMD on the ad music um, and the reason I decided to make the video is guys I saw no tutorial on it online but um, if I were you I'll do extensive like like sound training because sometimes there's some sounds that clash with other things and if it does it crashes your your ROM immediately and that's what the where the issue lies so test out different sound effects when you're you're doing this so I usually test it out on a level I would normally play over and over again to make sure that the sound doesn't get ruined or um crashes your emulator in some way but but yeah that is how you install custom music on your Super Mario World ROM hack. Um, hopefully the video helped you guys because whenever I needed assistance with this, I had to read a bunch of documents and do trial and error until I figured it out. So having a nice video explaining what's going on would felt like would help me for people who are more visual learners than reading. So. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If not, that is fine. And I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>